talked about. Uh, the game him. plan for this fight was to like do the opposite <laughs> of the last uh, fight because the last fight I kind of tried to pressure into situation that wasn't there, you know, like trying for a takedown and keep the pressure. So just exhausting myself all the time. And this time I wanted to be like more loosey and in and out and try to use more my base with kickboxing. And if I had to, maybe try some wrestling and on the ground. But uh, this was almost a pure stand-up fight. So it was good to try that too. So my game plan was in and out and take your chances, not make chances. Okay. And so you did exactly what you wanted. Yeah, it was good, good feeling to not get the adrenaline and not to just freak out. Now I always had the, the mind, you know, and just go, okay, come on, come on. Yes, it was uh, one second in the fight or two, three seconds in the last round. I was like a little bit tired and he hit me and I was like, okay, just fuck it, give up. And I was like, no, you don't give up because you hate to lose, you know, just yeah, yeah. keep in there. And I was like, okay. So it's like, uh, you know, talking to myself a bit, but uh, yeah. Did you, good. did you give up in your last fight? Or did you mentally, when you had that conversation, I know you had a big cut. Yeah, it was, uh, I think it was like a huge shock, a bit of everything, you know, because he had me in one choke and I get out of the choke. I hadn't then catch my breath and he choked me again and my blood. And I just, I was like on zero on the energy, you know, I had nothing. So it was like a, maybe a kind of desperate situation or something. It's yeah. hard to reckon, but yeah, so I never want to back there again because it's, uh, sucks you know so now now i'll never lose. i'd never try to lose again so, yeah. <laughs> and this must be nice i think in your first five fights maybe you fought like 10 minutes like yeah. in your whole career yeah it was uh, a lot of quick uh, finishes mm -hmm. but now i have to like uh, just see the the truth and that i cannot finish every fight that's not possible so now I will try to be like, I, I want to be a finisher, but if I can't, I can't, you know, like this guy was really tough. He took punches and kicks and straight back up again and he rest, hit me and I was like shaky, shaky. And so, I, yeah, sometimes you just can't do it, you know, so, yeah. Let's talk about uh, in between rounds. It seemed like uh, Mosin Baharu is in your corner, one, one of your corner men, yeah. and it seemed like he was giving you like very specific advice. Yeah. What, what kind of things was he telling you? He was telling me to keep on moving because the key word or the key thing in this fight was that I cannot stay still because he's a tall guy. I always have to go around and move my legs, you know, so he was like, okay, you have to move, you have to move all the time. And so sometimes I just stopped up and like, okay, just punch me and we can fight some. And, but then I was like, oh, you have to move, you have to move all the time. So that was the key word and they always yell yeah, like, okay, kick this kick and kick this kick and punch that kick and then you punch and kick. So it was always something to do, you know. But So I had to stop and like, hey, what did he say? Did he say left or right? Or and in the clinch, it was like, hey, do an elbow. So okay. But uh, he was tall, so I couldn't. And I tried to knee him in the face, but he was too tall, so I just hit the chest, you know. But, yeah, but it was a good experience, yeah. Great. Well, uh, congratulations yeah. on Thank getting back much. on the winning track, and uh, yeah. we look forward to seeing you again. Uh, Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. MMA Viking. <laughs> <laughs>